Hello everyone, BrickShips1912 here and today I wanted to treat you all to my private White Starline Cunard con collection so we are going to start with all of my reproductions of photographs, booklets and all that then we'll get into the real things so let's begin so the first one is from the 1400 scale Ravel kit from 2012 the uh, advertisement booklets and all that I'll actually get all of it out why not so this was this, the bonus stuff that you got in the kit I know I just keep them in these pockets to protect them even more because one day these things will be well, it's something like they were made 10 years ago. Now this is probably the more what you're looking forward to looking at. Is my reproductions of photographs. These are just reprints. This first one is a bit infamous in the... Uh, Theory of the Switch. This is obviously Titanic in Olympic. I believe this is when she threw her propeller blade. Because Titanic is very, very much under, like, almost completed. She's still got her open promenade. That change hasn't yet happened. And over in this corner we've got Magnetic, the first ever White Star Tender. I believe it's Magnetic. I could be wrong there. But I just love this photo because it's Olympic and Titanic together. They're, they weren't really together for a long time, only really when they were being built. Now this other one is of um, Olympic's Grand Staircase. One of my favourite rooms of the ship. Just the amount of woodwork in it, like you can see this. Just the, the amount of work that went into these ships. And if you bright, if you darken the image, you can actually see one of her lifeboats out this window. So I love it. No, I don't think this is in the time. This isn't a 20s photo. This is probably earlier than that. It could be. I don't know. I'm not an expert at recoloring images. So now, before we get into um, the real stuff, we will sort of touch into the real stuff with this, but these are my uh, certificate of authenticities for the things that I own. Uh, this, uh, let me get the little one out, this is for my uh, Randall Wilson Titanic painting, I'll put an image here of it, and this other one, if I can get it out wearing these gloves, Come on, please come out. This one is the Certificate of Authenticity. Oh, come on, I want to just put it down. Of my Olympic decking. Now, while I've got this out, I might as well get the chunk of the old girl. So here is my piece of the RMS Olympic. I have it permanently on a stand in my uh, little trophy cabinet and I absolutely love it. There's RMS Olympic decking 1911 to 35 and I believe this is from her ADAC promenade. There's a lot of history on that bit of wood if it is real. I do believe it is. 21 centimeters of the original Olympic pine decking from her A deck. Now there's going to be a lot more White Star than Cunard in this video. Come on, please, please go in there without bending too much. Doing this with gloves on is a pain, everyone. Also because 
the certificate of authenticity is like bigger than the envelope that it went in. Okay, I'll fix that up later. So now we're actually going to move in to the real, real business. This one here is actually the first item of the White Star Loan I ever brought. This is my RMS Majestic passenger list from I believe March of 1927. And in the back of it, there is advertisement of an Olympic voyage that I really, really love. Anything related to Olympic, I love. Anything related to the White Star Line, I love. And Peanut, I love both of them. This is the one thing I don't like, though, is the previous owner had it glued into a scrapbook. But I suppose that adds a little bit of story to the album. Like this was memorialized in a scrapbook until it was carefully ripped out. So I'll put that back in its little protection pocket. I have them in these protective sleeves that I've made. I am trying to find better ones and keep the nasty uh, wreckers out of it. Now this one I have shown before. Yet again, this is a postcard. A pre World War II postcard of the SS Medic. It actually does have writing on the back, but it's very, very difficult to read because of just the way it's written. You can't really see it because of the thing I have it on, but these live in absolute darkness and in flat conditions. You don't want these things bending. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that up later. I'm getting these other pla pla plastic pockets open with gloves on is tremendously difficult. So this one, it actually sort of goes into the other uh, ocean liner companies. This is the uh, furnace lines. Is a little booklet. The idle hour. I don't know any really. It has a name on the back. I don't know if it's a name or a um, company that made it. But it's just a lovely little thing that I found on eBay that I really wanted. Now, we're going to tip our toes into Cunard. Now this is a list of passengers from the Queen Elizabeth from 1966. Now this has like little to no people in it. Like the list of passengers in it is like tiny. But I'm not going to open it up because I don't want to damage it. This one doesn't have a map, it's just the same thing over and over. So you can open it both directions. It does have all the other things like White Styles did. But now we move on to another thing, a little bit larger this one. This is from the 50s, from 1953. It is an advertisement for mobile, mobile oil. It is a giant artwork of the Queen Mary and in this little piece here it says every holder of the Atlantic Blue Ribbon, including the Queen Mary and United States, as well as the largest ship afloat, the Queen Elizabeth, has been lubricated by the makers of mobile oil. So, I love this piece. It is huge. It doesn't even fit in my little filing file that I have. 
but absolutely beautiful. I love how the Queen Mary is made to look like the biggest thing ever. Like she's not that big in comparison to... She's a big girl, but she's not all that big still. Now this, this item is my last item that I have acquired, most recent, yet it is one of the oldest. I have this in, all of them are in double protector pockets with some form of bracing. This, I don't know how the glare is going to work with us, but this is a photograph, photo postcard of the Suvik wreck from March 12th of 1907. This is the seventh picture of the uh, um, film. But I love the wave breaking on the rock in front of her. This is like the poster child of all Suvik photos. It's everywhere. This is a real one. I would take... Actually, I'm going to try. Oh, no. Don't laugh at me in the comments. Oh, God. So this... Hasn't been posted, but there... Is the back of it. I'm not going to be trying to put it in on camera, it'll take too long. But there is my Suvik rec photograph postcard. Now for one that is a lot, lot more modern. Not quite so modern, but this is from probably one of my favourite cruise ships, the uh, Piano Liner Oriana. This is a deck plan of her. Now I recently acquired this and I'm not opening it up because of how brittle the paper has gotten. It is going to be staying in this, but I will give you, sorry for the orange tint, it is the light that is above me, you can see the camera. But this is actually for Updates, I believe, because there's a whole lot of pen marks in it, prices and all that. But this is probably one of the coolest things I own. So, that is it for today's video. I do hope you have all enjoyed looking through all of my historic pieces. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.